Well, good evening, everyone. So blessed I'm going to be back with everybody this evening. And if it's your first time here, I welcome you. If you're new here at Twitch, I welcome you. If this is your first time here, I welcome you. Feel free to say say uh, say hello in the chat. This is a come as you are place. Everyone is welcome here. Uh, if you're catching the vods on either YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, I welcome you to make the. Make the uh, switch over to to Twitch.tv here. Join me live where everything where everything happens, and you can actually interact with me uh, on nights that I don't have have messages, and even take part in the interactive night, which is Monday night. Now, leading up to that, and tonight. Uh, this is an, an interactive night because I'm just sharing something tonight that's been very heavily on my heart. And I, I apologize in advance if, if this 44-year-old starts bawling like a 4-year-old child. Uh, but knowing that's going to be me in a nutshell. This evening, because usually uh, Monday nights the interactive nights, but uh, tonight's different because I'm sharing something that's burning on my heart. Mm. Little sip of Pepsi Zero, not a sponsor. Um, This is a different night because I'm sharing something that's near and dear in my heart. One year ago, a light in our community went like that, went out. And I share the, this reason why. <sighs> Wonderful church that I was part of. had to close its doors forever. And the day of that closing was February 19th in the year of our Lord 2023. That church was the next level church where our core location was in Southern New Hampshire. The only multi-site church in New England. A little bit of a brief history. Next Old Church is one of the fastest growing churches in New England. An absolute light and a blessing to so many in our community. And it's sad to say, on this date, one year ago today, the door's closed.
with so many outreaches that Next Level Church did for the community and everything we did. And, and I, I did a lot to help out with Next Level Church. Mostly at the main seminary location, and sort of the New Hampshire location, and at several other different locations. Uh, ma mainly the Summers New Hampshire location. And helping out with prepping for so many different special events we did. It was sad, it was sad to, to find out through, long story short, through hate and accusations. It basically forced the hand to close. So many people left next level church that day. And I know for a fact, because I still meet up with some of those people that used to attend there, that to this day, a year later, they haven't found a church to become part of. And my heart still goes out to those those men and women. It's truly sad to see that that has happened. And honestly speaking, this is a telltale sign of no love. Because if a wonderful, if a wonderful church like Next Level Church wound up victim to hate and accusations, how many more can that happen to? around this world. All I can honestly say is this. And I'm using the biblical, and I'm using, and excuse me for using vernacular, but karma is a bitch. Both physically and spiritually. And to the people that did, that poured out this hate. If you want to see what happened, happen. You got your wish. However, there are repercussions. And in my honest estimation, those repercussions are going to bite you in the butt. Now, honestly speaking, I read the report of the accusations, of the hate and accusations. Now, if I was a judge in a court, I don't know which way to went because all I have is information on the paper. I have no actual facts to back me up. I just have information that was written on a piece of paper. My heart goes out to every single former location pastor in Central Church. 
every con every member of the congregation of all of each and every single location and I, my heart still to this day goes out to the commander in chief and his first lady Josh and Jennifer Gagne my heart still goes out to them My opinion, what hat with what happened should have happened? No. But the damage, but the hate and accusations were made. The damage was done, and it's irreversible damage. And these are some of the, this is one of the things that can happen with a lack of love in our world. We all need to do our part, each and every single one of us, to spread love. My heart goes out to each and every one of you. I'm thankful for the time I was with Next Old Church. And I hope and pray that what happened at Next Old Church in Summers of New Hampshire, where the core location of Summers of New Hampshire, never happens again at another church. We need more love, now more than ever. I would just want to, in closing, I just want to thank everybody for your time. I love you. And Jesus loves you too. I know I'm getting emotional. But I said it, that's what was probably going to happen. pray and wrap up. Dear God, thank you for this time. Thank you for allowing me to take this evening and share what's been burning on my heart. What happened at Next World Church, in my honest opinion, what happened at Next World Church should have never happened. However, it did. And we've seen the results of that. God, I still pray for all of the men, women, and children that have been dispersed from this whole church. God, I know how much of a light it was to our community. And even to our world. And it breaks our heart.
to hear what happened, to find out what happened. May as well make a ma major U-turn and start loving one another again. For your glory. And may we pray that, that this never happens again. Because we know church is your light. God, I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In closing, once again, I still say thank you to each and every single person that's come out. I love you all. Jesus loves you too. Hoping to be in Tuesday and Wednesday night. I'm sorry, Wednesday and Thursday night for game nights. More people can come in, chit chat with me, say hi and hello. And also, Saturday, uh, next message night on Saturday night. I hope to see everyone out once again. Jesus loves you, and I do too. Have an awesome evening. Good night. God bless. Take care.